Greetings, Commanders. Welcome to episode 25 of the UK's number one podcast on Marvel Strike Force, the MSF pod. This podcast covers everything that's happening in the world of Marvel Strike Force, which is a mobile hero collector game available on iTunes, Google Play, Bluestacks, and wherever else you play mobile games. We are the lads from 4Play Gaming. You'll find us on YouTube under that name. We're on Instagram and Twitter under the name 4P Gaming. And you'll find the MSF pod on iTunes, Google Podcasts, and everywhere else that you get your pods. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, and tell all of your Alliance mates about us. Uh, thanks to everyone for your support. Every week our numbers go up, and that's down to you guys. So, yeah, many thanks. Um, right, so introducing the crew today, we have the kit man and resident expert on everything Marvel, Diggs. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, my man. You good? All good, mate. All good. And next up, we've got our boy Adam back uh, back again. How are you, buddy? Hey, yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah, you? Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. And, uh, yeah, my name is Luke. Right, gents, first and foremost, uh, what did you guys get? Any good pulls this week? Any updates, upgrades, Red Stars? What have you been working on, Diggs? Um... I didn't put anything of, of note thinking about it. I did I opened an Elite Five and got a six red star Merc Lieutenant, I think it was. Oh sweet. Man, your Mercs must be pretty mega by now. I haven't leveled any of them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's boilers. Just so they do nothing. Um right. I and I opened an Elite Four and got a five red star Luke Cage, which again is all right, eventually, I suppose, but yeah, could, could have been better. But biggest for hero fire. Still, yeah, still waiting for that red star and silver surfer. Um, mm. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all I've got in terms of pulls. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working my way through DD3. I did Adam's Notorious Name on Ode yesterday. Have you finished um, it? Yeah, I finished that yesterday with that ridiculous picture I sent you boys. Like, my average attack on that is between like four and six mil. Then for some reason, everything was just going well last night and did like a 40 million point attack. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so now I'm into the first node of global. I've done did one attack on that this morning, but it's uh, like two mil damage. So that was that. silly. I'm trying to find the picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if you throw that up there. Silly. Um, there so yeah, is. so the first got it. Yeah. <laughs> so your attack eight was three point four three million damage, and then attack nine was thirty nine point five million damage. Yeah. It's weird, exactly the same team, exactly the same composition. Yeah. It, just all, it just all went right, just, yeah, yeah, just, just non-stop. Uh, yeah, very, but, very right. <laughs> yeah, got the Ultron bots out and they were they were doing the business. Um, so yeah, so now I'm into the first node of Global and I've only got four Global characters there. I've just got um, Emma, Phoenix, Baron Zemo and Ultron. Um, so yeah, so just working on them and I've just been focusing on levelling up Ghost, basically. So she's ready to go for global as well. Brilliant, man. Okay. That's awesome. Um, Adam, how about you? How have you got on? Um, we haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. So, yeah, how's, uh, how's everything going your end? Yeah, great. Thank you. So in regards to uh, Kestrel, I'm loving her. Uh, obviously, since you guys talked about her, I've, I've really, really taken a run at the event. I'm sure we'll talk about that, though. But I have leveled up, up a bit. Um, and then terms of like costumes and stuff as, as you boys know uh i think costumes is wicked so so far i've got the nick frost one uh, <laughs> oh, nick, oh uh, i've got the <laughs> got, <laughs> i've got the <laughs> it happened again so i've got the nick fury costume <laughs> you got the hot fuzz costume yeah I've yeah. got the, uh, yeah, Shaun of the Dead, yeah. Shaun of the Dead, there it is, yeah. Empowered, empowered Simon Pegg. Empowered Simon yeah. Pegg. So I've got the Nick Fury costume. <laughs> yeah. Um, I uh, think. <laughs> and then I'm trying to think of a way of getting Thor wrong, but uh, I've got the Thor one as well now. Um, right. And then, yes. Yeah, so oh, you've got I'm, the Thor one already? Yeah. Oh, We're nice. In, oh, you must be able to get it, Luke. There's no way that I'm further in the milestones than you. Just yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got that. I've got 6,000 to spare, so you must be able to get it as well, Luke. Okay. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, yeah. And, awesome. and then I've worked through, where are we at? Where are we at? Campaign. So, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm looking on my, uh, on my laptop as I'm talking. So Doom War, I can't remember what I said last time, but I've passed, um, I've passed the Yellow Jacket nose now and three-starred that. So I'm past Doom 3-6, and I just haven't bothered with 3, 7, 8, or 9. Yeah. Um, which I think standard, right, or not? Like, did yeah, you I mean, to get further yeah. to farm, didn't you? 
Yeah, I mean, I got to, I did three six just like you. Luke yeah. three seven, like hero taking supernatural, go to hell, get in the sea. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Not, not leveling them up. And then about literally about ten minutes later, they were like, "Look at this amazing hero tech character, Kestrel." And I was just like, "All right." So <laughs> I, I leveled up Kestrel, just smash for it with her, basically. Really? Oh, good idea. Yeah, because I'm leveling up my. Um, oh, Ghost Rider wouldn't be a hero, would he? Yeah, he's is. Yeah, he's a hero. He's a hero. Is he a hero? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I did it with um, Kestrel, Ghost Rider, Iron Man. Um... <sighs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll get there then. By the sounds of it, just just in time, hopefully, uh, you know, just crack on with it. Um, and then Dark Dimension Three, Diggs, you're catching me up well, which is good. So I am on uh, Mission Seven. So you're on the the Neymar Node, the agreed Mission Four. I've finished the Neymar <laughs> Node. I'm on Mission Five now. You're on Mission Five, which is the sinister one. Yeah, got and then got the sinister first node of global. Yes. Yeah. And yep. you've got the Invisible Woman one, and then the one I'm on. So you're not that far away from me, which is cool. And I only just started mine, I think, today or yesterday on Mission 7, which is good. So you're catching up. And then, uh, yeah, that's good. Progress uh, is probably all going towards Dark Dimension 3 now. I'm just working on getting my teams ready. Um, yeah. That's, you, that's yeah you've, got, you've, 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 got, you've got Cosmic coming up next. So have you got a team for Cosmic? Yeah, so uh, so what is it? Fourteen uh, tier fourteen. I've got um, Loki, Black Bolt, Hella, Minerva, and Ebony Moore at the moment. Mm -hmm. And Kestrel is so tomorrow. I've already spent a load of gold today, so tomorrow I'll get her to seventy-five, and then I'm not far from getting her to fourteen. So I'll actually have six people. Um, yeah, but that's fine. That's fine for Cosmic. And then City, I d oh, mate, I don't know how I'm going to get City done. Like I was just just talking to Diggs about it earlier. Um, that's a mission. That's a mission and a half. So I've got Ghost Rider to 13, just mm -hmm. because otherwise it's going to be all symbiotes and it's going to take me forever to just get that much bio. So I've gone Ghost Rider because he's mystic. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to crack on with, with him and then four symbiotes until I can get the fifth. I, I felt like I'd get there quicker with one that isn't a bio um because i just can't see anyone else that i want for city in have you got dr octopus yet no <clears throat> exactly no. what i said yeah because yeah. he's he's tech so and his 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 gear pieces you've probably got quite a lot of his his tier 13s and he is uh x factor right that's right mate yeah i'm not no no not x factor he's no, x -Force. X -Force. X -Force. sorry x force yeah X Factor. I had to read that. I thought it was going to be another horrendous mistake on the podcast. I was thinking X Factor. That's that <laughs> terrible pop star thing. Yeah, uh, no, there is an X Factor in Strike Force. You're right, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a change. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so that is that's me. That's me. Um, okay. So no, no, no Red Star pools. Anything of note or nah, no, nothing that I'm like buzzing for. I, I definitely have had some, but nothing that I'm like, you know, fist pump in the air. Um, so yeah, that's it. Cool. Okay. What about you? Uh, well, um, Red Star wise, I haven't done anything too major. Obviously, Misty came to the game on Tuesday. We'll talk about that soon. Um, well, later on into the pod. Um, so I did the usual um, seed theory for that. I, I pulled four, four stars for her. So that's cool. I'm not. I'm back to hoarding again. Um, yeah. So I've got four on her, and I think five on Colleen. So yeah. I mean, that Heroes for Hire team eventually will be decent. And I mean. And annoyingly, like it seems like everyone's already working on counters for that team already, but um, wow. it's all like you know, like whale teams and stuff. So I'm like, all right, but yeah, eventually we'll get there. I'm, I'm currently blitzing like a maniac to try and get a first run, but I don't think I will. Uh, yeah, uh, so I started Dark Dimension three on the 9th of uh, 9th of February this year, and I finished it yesterday. Which is cool. Um, done, yeah, crazy. Well done, um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, the old uh, old Doc Cock and the symbiotes got it done for me, mate. Like, I I just like I, yeah, I blew I blew through city with with the symbiotes. Like it was ridiculous, and and, and Doc Ock. Like, and I, I only had symbiote Spider Man, Carnage, and Ven and um, and Anti Venom, and then Doctor Octopus. So I've got the gear pieces now to put Venom up as well to fourteen. So when I when it 
uh, unlocks again in a couple of hours, I might do that. But yeah, I'm, I'm in no rush at the moment. So, um, so you're missing Scream and, and Venom. And Venom. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't, I haven't got full symbiotes at Gear Tier 14, but um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, I already had Carnage set up um, anyway and Symbiote Spider Man. So I spent some time, uh, we chatted about it on the pod, me and Diggs. Um, putting, um, I mean, the, the, the main problem with symbiotes is the, um, they've, they've all got that same piece. Um, the, what's it called? Superior um, alien sport, not the alien sports. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, fortunately in this new calendar that we've got, um, there, there are some more in there, Adam, so you might be able to get your symbiotes up in Superior time. But alien sports, so I've got 90 of them. Okay, that's good. So, uh, I don't know how many you're going to need, though, but yeah. I think it's... it's uh, it, 24 a tune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, wow. is, that to thir- is that to 13 or 14? Because it's... Well, well sure. you probably need 24 to get them to 14, and is it 18 to get them to 13? Something like that, yeah. 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 Silly, yeah, okay. So I just... But, um, it's good to know that, thank you. So I'll just keep going after that. That's a little Petri dish, isn't it, with the... Uh, the goo in. Yeah, it looks like a symbiote like coming out of it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um yeah, so yeah. Um my my opinion on DD3, it's it's good. It do, obviously you guys know it doesn't feel anywhere good as, uh, anywhere near as good as uh, Doctor Mention 2. Um <laughs> I mean you get loads of you get loads of rewards, which is great, but there's no like you know uh, Eureka moment, you know, like like you do with DD2 when you unlock Ultron. It's just gear pieces. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and you know, like I mean, I haven't even unlocked Ultimus yet. You know what I mean? So I, I thought I was going to get Ultimus at the end of it, but no. So no, you don't. You, you only get red stars for all on the second time round, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's basically congratulations. Here's some gear. So that's, yeah, that's it. what? Yeah, <laughs> that is weird. Uh, it's it's weird, but you know, like the gear you do get is is great. You know, like I like all, all of these stupid little pieces, like the um. We were talking the other day about like Silver Surfer and how you need like the the little the little bongs, um, the what are they called digs, um, this uh, Icor, the superior um, Shogoth Icor, Icor. Yeah, yeah. Um, you get an absolute heap of them. Like you get like you get loads of this the, the bitty little stuff that you know you you farm. But yeah, cool. But you yeah you guys will find that out. Apart from that, um, not, I haven't really been doing anything else to be honest. Um, I've been putting. I've been leveling up uh, Kestrel, mm-hmm. and um, and that's it to be honest. And bringing characters up to seven stars, um, yeah, nothing too exciting. Nice, good. So, uh, seven stars is that just to spend the money for the milestones, or is that just because you just want people to, you know, you you've got them there already, you've got enough stuff, and you're just like wasting the half a mil to get them there, or is that because you want them at seven stars? Uh, yes, I mean, certain characters I wanted at seven stars, like like Ant Man, and um, I can't remember who else I bought up recently. Uh, Gamora as well. Just just characters that I've just sort of been like, oh, I can't be dealing with this. But now I'm like, okay, now we know that they've got some, you know, they've got some use. Might as well get them up to seven. Cool. And that way, you, you know, at least when you do get a, a duplicate or whatever, it can go towards Ultimus. But you know, whatever. Yeah, it's a good way. A good way of looking at it. I'm I'm trying to get the all the people for legendaries to seven stars or all the good legendaries anyway to seven yeah. stars, or the ones i like um yeah. and then i'm going to work on everyone else do you know what i mean so yeah i get what you mean yeah mm. that's cool man okay right okay so um if we are happy um we will um jump into the pod so um so last week after the podcast um the uh raid milestone season finished the new one started and the Silver Surf, we, we got an in-game notification saying that Silver Surfer's milestones were getting changed. Um, if you reach milestone 20, you'll get one Silver Surfer shard and then it, you know, it goes up from there. Um, you guys pleased about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Yeah, it's good. I, th- I think that's a good change, especially with the changes they've um, announced uh, later on, but we will discuss that in a bit. Uh, on Tuesday, Ebony Moore's event started. Um, how did you guys get on with that? Um, I didn't actually have any um, Inhumans like, uh, higher than five star. Well, I didn't, sorry, I didn't have all of the Inhumans higher than five star, I should okay. say. So 
I didn't touch it. Didn't do anything. Okay. How about you, Adam? So I would have liked it to be a little later. I know that they're coming around quicker anyway, but uh, so yeah. I'm like, I'm like 40 shards with, off Karnak being um, six stars and 40, yeah, like 40 odd for Miss Marvel. So uh, for being six stars, so I missed out as well. But hopefully next time I can get uh, I can get him at six stars or even seven. Who knows? I'm working towards seven. Nice. Okay, that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, like you say, like the the more sort of prominent legendaries seem like they're rolling around quicker. So yeah, yeah you guys will probably next time it comes around because you guys are both focused on Black Bolt, weren't you? Getting him to seven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Um. So. On Tuesday, Misty Knight came to the game. Um, she had the so the Ultron currency, like the ten times drop or whatever it was on her Ultron, that went away, and she got her ten percent drop rate in the rate in the Red Star orbs. Did you guys pull anything on Misty or uh, Diggs? Um, I think yeah, yeah, I did actually. I did. I pulled four four star on Misty. Brilliant. Just out of the usual um, like Red Star orb, not an elite or anything like that. Nice man. Yeah, that was right. Nice. Yeah. How about you? Um, how about you? Ed? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I've I've been waiting until she goes so that I can get more for um, you know, so that the what is it when the percentage is gone? It's ten times more, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm waiting for, for the, that. For the dark for the dark promotion credits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um. All right. That's cool, man. Um. What about you? Uh. Yeah. I. I got I, I pulled four on her out of um out of an elite four and um that was it. I haven't again I went straight back to Marvel Hall Force. Like I I I think I dropped, I opened like five or six regular red stars and got absolutely uh sweet FA. So I was like, right, Elite Four. Yeah. And I'm, I'm I might have opened a couple of those. Um because my 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 Elite Fives are starting to climb as well. So cool. That's good. Um okay, where are we? Okay, so where are we at with the uh the form and function milestones? Um, that's for doing raids and the five arena attacks every day. How are you guys doing with that? Yeah, good. Um, I've already bought Thor's siege costume. Um, okay. I said to add um, today when I saw him earlier that I, I thought if you hit all the miles, you can buy all the costumes. But I literally couldn't have been more wrong. Ad, you can only buy one. Okay. You, you end up about twenty k short or something of get, being able to get the other two. I don't know why, where I got that idea from. Just. Just talking nonsense, mate. Just absolute That's nonsense. Right. That's all right. Um, <laughs> it's, like your, it's like your nan being on Google Maps again, isn't it? Exactly, mate. Just complete farce. <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. No one's going to know what that means. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's deep cut friendship, that one. <laughs> <laughs> why am I bringing that up? Everyone's going to be like, why is Diggs' his nan on Google Maps? Yeah, you're like, searching yeah. for it. I kind of don't even want to explain it, but yeah. yeah. All right, Diggs' nan. No, let's not explain it, mate. Let's just move on. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I uh, um, so yeah, I'm three or four milestones from the end. Um, so yeah, so I should be able to get that easy enough with the war going on. It's well, that's where you get all your points in the in the old war attacks. Yes, yeah, so it's um, eight hundred points for a for a war battle, three hundred for an arena, and two hundred for a uh, raid when I lose. So, yeah. and it, yeah, we've got two days left, so in theory, we should be able to bang them out before it finishes yeah i should think so cool how about you adam you um you are you the same uh very similar yeah so i've completed 17 of 20 um and i've got you know as you said things coming up and i just want to get those uh elite five credits at the end really mm. um yeah where, where it, are you is, at? Oh, that's a full that's a full elite five i'm looking at it now isn't it yeah, yeah buddy yeah. nice okay beautiful so, hold up We'll be uh, we'll be holding on to that when we get it, and then you also get the um, armory fifteen orb fragments as well, don't you? Which is good. Yeah. Why Why are you going to hold on to it? I'm I'm going to spend mine immediately. Yeah, me too. <laughs> why are you holding on to it? What, <laughs> what, what are you going to get? I uh, dude, I'm 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 waiting for something. I I don't you know like there's 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 a high high drop rate on Misty, so oh. you've got ten percent chance of not getting what you want, like five stars on. You know what I mean? So if you're not interested in Misty, hold it until her drop rate goes okay and wh when when does that go it'll, it'll be a couple of days though. yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, it'll, be, it'll be back to um ultron again but i i haven't opened an elite four with ultron so i don't know if on the on the sides you get 
the credits or not. Um, I'm okay. not sure. Okay. Cool. But um, yeah, wicked man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're all um, we're all at the same place. Um, yeah, I'm just about to finish milestone 18. I mean, I haven't done any war attacks. I've been out, obviously. So have you guys. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've got to give Scopely credit for this this um, uh, this like mini event. Like I hope they do more of those. If 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 this is the the model they're going to use for like character costumes and stuff, then I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like, definitely. Like, you know, for, for, for players, digs like yourself that are, you know, busy, not, not able to get on the app as much as possible. You know, you're going to finish the, you're going to finish the milestones. You're not going to have to grind like crazy to ca catch up or whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'll say I need 12,000 more points and I've got, I've got 38,000 so far. So I should think, I came out this war like you say it's 800 for a war attack yeah. yeah i'll probably do another seven or eight war attacks between now and the end of it so that's like let's say i do eight that's six and a half thousand credits <laughs> then i yeah. need another four five and a half thousand so perfect yeah pretty chilling yeah i like that it's it's a it's quite friendly isn't it it's not this um event you're going to be stressing over you know like it's, it's a casual thing as you as you progress and play the game how you would you're going to get stuff i like that um yeah i've got a lot of time for that yeah me yeah me too mate I, yeah i really think they should be um they should be commended for that like for making it a little bit yeah. more player friendly like you say and, and as we discussed it's going to be one of those things where hopefully you know people look at it maybe they're not as active right now um i mean you'd pretty much have to be inactive wouldn't you to not get it but you know and, and when they look at it they'll be like oh that costume's so sick i wish i was online for that Little things like that in games, I just think are so cool because it does keep you hooked. And uh, definitely, you know, when we've played games before and missed events, and it's like, oh, I wish I went and did this on this date and did that event. That's so cool, or whatever. And it's not a, a game-breaking thing, is it? it? Just it's just cosmetic. So yeah. yeah, good on them. Yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, while we're talking about good things and um, and things that we should be uh, commending Scopely for. Uh, the Kestrel campaign. How are we doing with that, uh, Diggs? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I, I've been caning through cores. I've literally got like 300 <laughs> left, Luke. Try and uh, try and keep the tears back. Yeah, I've gone. <laughs> I've must have gone through about three and a half thousand cores um, in this event. Yeah, me too. Um, but it's worth it. She is wicked sick. So no, no regrets, mate. No regrets. Well, um, um, sorry, go on. So I'm on. 91 of 130 oh, no, five. Okay. Um, but I haven't got anything I was I was far too smug early on I got two 14s like two 14 shards in the middle like the first orb that I remember you saying um, yeah 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 that's right like, <laughs> the best and I don't think I've got a single, a single extra start shard since it's just been nothing but nothing but ones on the side right like the one may as well be a middle finger just like <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> don't get in the double digits yeah, exactly. Stitch up mania, but yeah, I've been uh, I've been smashing way through it, and like I say, ninety one of one hundred and thirty. So I probably won't get it to five star unless I get a really lucky orb right at the death. But close enough. Won't cool, take me get there when they put it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm sure they will. Um, Adam, how about you? How did you um, how did you fin finish up with it? Because so... you've got one day left, haven't we? Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's... I think. It was uh, yeah, hours. yeah. Um, yeah eight hours. Eight hours left. Oh, it ends tonight, does it? Uh, oh no, no, sorry. That's the fabric, fabric of reality, and earn your wings. Um, so I imagine where's the event? Yeah, I think that I think that ends. Take flight, earn crest, earn kestrel shards. Um, yeah, that's that's ending in eight hours, forty three minutes. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> sorry. Um, so for everyone else, if you know that's uh, that's Saturday night, isn't it for us? Um, yeah. So I'm on 85 of 130, so I'm four stars. Uh, I've absolutely smashed the event as, as much as I can. Uh, basically, I just, I've spent all my cores. I've got 27 cores now. Um, and every time Oof. I get 50, I'm straight refresh, you know, refresh my energy. And then sometimes when it's 100 and I get to 100, I'm like, cool, I'll just refresh. Just, just trying to smash it because she's amazing. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. Cool. What, what about you? Uh, so, uh, I, I've made, I've been the same as Diggs. Um, so I started the event with like 12 and a half thousand cores. I'm down to like 9,000 now. Um, 
and I've not been lucky. Um, I, and I've been throwing calls. Uh, I've done the hundred refreshes pretty much every day. Um, and I've got, I'm 16 of 200 at five stars, five red. So oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 I, I had a couple of, I had a couple of 16 or 14 drops, like, but that's, that's been it. And that's all literally been, I've, I've been throwing calls. I've, I've done a couple of the 200s as well, just to try and catch up. But that's like, you know, when you're getting down into that territory, you're getting into like the medium like section you know like down in the dregs and you're not getting anywhere near the you know the return that you get if you're doing it off of the hards so yeah i know what you mean yeah so did you did you guy did you buy the 50 or whatever it was in in the first before the event you could buy her couldn't you did you do that no no okay i see yours is all from cause yeah okay okay nothing with cause um but obviously i I had a heap of cause saved so i've just been throwing them at her but good yeah no uh yeah feels bad but you know like, like you say like it's so like, worth it so yeah exactly yeah hey, hey, again no regrets if, if no. i had more calls and more time i would have thrown more at her she's the best yeah she's she's excellent yeah and anytime i see that i've got enough for uh to recharge i'm like cool straight in like not bothered <laughs> so uh yeah that's that's why i'm where i'm at i've got 27 <laughs> yeah. yeah fair play okay uh so next up we've got the skill military event that is going on today so we're recording on saturday obviously how did you guys um get on with that uh digs um i did the first because obviously you can only do three attempts can't you because it's the first time around so i did right. i got to level three um yeah. but i haven't freestyled anything because it was i may as well have just thrown in killmonger by himself he did all that <laughs> <Right. laughs> like the punisher did a little bit but it was pretty much the killmonger show um yeah. <laughs> Elena, black widow and red guardian died immediately they were pointless um, and then Killmonger comes along and does his AOE and wipes out the whole screen. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's all I did. <laughs> Quality. That's cool. How about you, Adam? Yeah, mine's the same. I did. I did three. Um, I don't think I three starred it, but yeah, similar to Diggs. It was. Uh, yeah. What about you? Uh, yeah, I, I got through it, man. I got through it. So happy days. Did you but, um, three stars or? Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. All good, mate. And, and who um, did you use? Um, I, I use the skill military team. I've, I've been sort of slowly building them in, in the background, like, but literally, like, it was it was everyone hide behind Punisher and everyone hide behind Killmonger, and Punisher's ult goes off straight away. So, yeah, it, I guess I got good good RNG or whatever because my Ellen is only thirty three and my my Red Guardian's tiny. But I yeah, I just I, I got through it. So happy days. That euphemism. <laughs> 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 God, Maskarova is uh, very little. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, let's go into rumours. Um, now, this is a little bit... Um, hmm. So, yeah, but I, I was... So, obviously, I update, I update this, um, um, this sort of throughout the week, and the rumours were sort of all about Adam Warlock and Gamora and Nebula, empowered Nebula, empowered Gamora, and all of that. And um, I don't know if you guys caught the Misty Knight showcase video that um, Marvel Strike Force posted. Um, yeah. No. All right. So they, they posted this Misty Knight showcase all about Heroes for Hire. And right at the end of the video, it shows the Heroes for Hire team and the camera like pans towards them and then goes over the shoulder of Misty. And you see the, um, the coffin, sarcophagus, whatever. Regeneration chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Adam Warlock, like in the background in the street in like an alleyway. Oh, wishes. And at that point, everyone's like, you know, that, that meme of that dude from um uh from that show, like, it's happening, it's happening, and all of that. Uh, you know, I'm like I thought you were gonna say um ciao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that's it. Yeah, yeah. So long, Gabe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so pe- people were pretty uh, pe- people were pretty pleased about that. Um and and then it sort of snowballed from there um marvel strike force post uh, changed their uh, background and um zeke's the community manager started sort of posting like i'll oh, wait for the blog post and all of that so yeah so what i thought we could do is we could uh we could go into that uh into that blog post now if you want okay so the um blog post for this week is from may 21st 2021 master of all souls and um yeah there's some pretty uh, pretty exciting stuff going on on here, uh, so I'll start it off and then we can um, we can go through it um, 
there's some kit work um, for you, Diggs. So yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, greetings, commanders. Uh, start breaking free from your regenerative cocoon if you're in one, because oh, sorry, I was reading off of uh, my debris. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? Just me sharing a screen ruined that for you? Yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Uh, all right, start breaking free from your regenerative, regenerative cocoon if you're in one because you don't want to miss this legendary reveal we've got in store for you today. We've also got big updates heading to the Doom Raids, a speedster zipping into the store, a returning legendary event, another hero you can hire in Blitz, and bonus events to stir up a little chaos. Emerging from his cocoon is the subject of our first section. And we're announcing Adam Warlock has come into the game. Diggs, do you want to, uh, do you want to read this bit? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so, Adam Warlock, when a secretive group of mad scientists on Earth known as the Enclave set out to create the perfect human specimen, they intend to use it as a tool for their plans of world domination. But when this being, who became known as Adam Warlock, emerged from his creation cocoon, he sensed his creator's evil intentions and rebelled before flying into space. Adam Warlock's creators endowed him with the ability to control cosmic energy, which gives him superhuman strength, energy manipulation, flight, durability, and regeneration. He traversed the universe, searching it for purpose until, fin until finally finding it in guarding the Infinity Stones. To aid his quest, Adam Warlock formed the Infinity Watch team, a group of warriors whose sole purpose was to protect each Infinity Stone. Um, interesting. That's not his original um, origin story. His original story. <laughs> No, his original one is he was created by the Fantastic Four. Really? Mm. Similar reasons. It wasn't to take over the world. They created, Fantastic Four created him. He broke out of his cocoon and flew off into space. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wicked. There you go. Indeed. Do we want to go over his kit then? Or uh, the, the, yeah. there is like a highlight thing. Um, but we could go over his kit. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth putting a link to that strike time in the uh, in the description because I'm going to watch that after this as well. Cool. I've seen it yet. It's, um, it's 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 definitely a good one, man. There's a lot there's a lot of good stuff in there. Cerebro um puts those together and they're um they're really good, they're really entertaining. Wait, should we yeah. have a quick a bit of a look for his powers after we've kind of gone over it all just to kind of uh I don't know, build a bit of hype and chat about it because it looks pretty he looks really yeah, sure. cool. Yeah, well, while while we're going through it, Adam, I'll uh, I'll find where to go through his powers. Um okay on, it, on mine, okay. Yeah, I mean it looks like it's it's like sort of halfway through the video. Okay, I'll, I'll grab I'll grab the uh, I'll grab the link. Uh, sorry, the uh, the time, so we can just cut straight to it. Okay. So traits: hero, cosmic, mystic, support, Infinity Watch, and legendary. Um, Infinity Watch is a is a interesting one. I wonder who they're going to add to that um, trait because there's a few there's a few different ones I could add: Gamora, Thanos, um, Drax. Kang, who's obviously not in the game. Um, Star Lord, Simon Pegg, Looks Strange, Nick Frost, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a few. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few. There's quite a few characters they can add to that. So it'd be interesting to see which way they go with it, um, and if they'll do something with the Infinity Stones. I'd be uh, intrigued what they do. Um, so, <clears throat> basic Soul Mage Assault attack primary target for damage. Prolong the duration of all negative effects, excluding ability block and stun by one, and apply two bleed for two turns to primary target. And then special enfeebling blast, energy cost 5-5. Five, five. Um, attack primary target for 500% damage and apply ability block for two turns. Ooh. Um, apply ability block to all enemy villain protectors for two turns and apply disrupted to all enemy protectors for two turns. And this attack is unavoidable. That's a good special. We like that. We um, like that. When, when, you, when you, I mean, that, that, that just basically ends it for, um, for well, anyone with a tank, doesn't it? Basically. Black Order. There's two villain protectors in the Black Order, Thanos and um, Cole. Yeah. So ability block for two turns on both of them. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> and disrupted. Yeah, yeah, thanks. That, thanks a lot, Adam Warlock. <laughs> um, <laughs> So ultimate power overwhelming, energy cost four six, um, apply safeguard to self and all Infinity Watch allies. Safeguard's a new one as well. Have they actually yes. explained anywhere in this blog what safeguard is? It's it's not it's not in it's in the uh it's in the strike time. It's in the strike time, is it? Do you know what it is off the top of your head? Uh no, mate, I'm sorry. I've I've uh, I've had a busy I wonder day. if it was um 
if it was like um, I'm trying to compare it to another game, and I can't think what game it's in, but like say you've got the Black Order team and Thanos has safeguard. I wonder if when he's targeted, the uh, somebody else in the Black Order takes that hit and then loses safeguard. That's when I read that. That's what I thought it was. But I Adam, know. if you Adam, if you go to um, three eleven in the video, it it, um, it talks about safeguard. Might be worth doing that. Oh, let's do that whilst it's relevant. Yeah. Yeah, one, one quite cool thing about Safeguard is that, um, you know, like Silver Surfer takes takes abilities yeah. off, of, off of characters. Um, he can't take, he can take all of the other ones, but he can't take Safeguard. They, they say that in a second. I just, I literally just, that, I just remembered that bit, but yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. So, yeah, it it guards them from losing or flipping their positive effects. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sorry, mate. <laughs> Poor Cerebro, man. That guy, be, that guy goes through it. Oh, guy, mate. That, that. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's nothing better when you're watching a film and you pause it or something. And uh, uh, you know, um, something just shot into his eye. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, so, right, power overwhelming energy cost for six, apply safeguard to self and all infinity watch allies, um, attack primary target for 420% damage, and apply stun. Chain to one target within two spaces of the primary target and for 370% damage and apply stun. And this attack cannot be counterattacked. That's again pretty good, pretty solid damage. Two enemies being stunned and safeguard. It's like that. It's pretty good. Um, so then this is where the, the bulk of his abilities lie. So many different lines on his passive. So Avatar of Life on spawn, apply safeguard and immunity to self and all Infinity Watch allies. If health is full at the start of the match, revive once with 60% of this character's max health. On revive, gain death proof, regeneration, defense up, and then clear all negative effects from self and all Infinity Watch allies. On turn, clear regeneration from all enemies. If an enemy had regeneration, apply regeneration for two turns to the most injured ally. When this character drops below 20% health, gain regeneration, safeguard, and two deflect. When this character or any Infinity Watch ally gains death proof, apply safeguard to that character. If this character has four or more Infinity Watch allies, lower damage by 10% for all enemies, gain 30% max health. Infinity Watch allies gain 30% max health and gain 30% armor. And Infinity Watch allies gain 30% armor. <sighs> wow. Ace Ventura. Fuck that. Okay, get graduated. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, he's good. He sounds really good. Yeah. Do um do you want to know the other two? Well, the other two announced members of Infinity Watch as well. While we're uh, while we're talking about it, because there's no mention yeah. of them in, in the blog. So if you go to four fifty five, oh, yeah. Adam. That's what Nebula. Nebula's getting a rework. What's oh, that? Good, good, good. Reworking her. What was that, Luke? So ne Sorry. So, so ne Nebula's the first person in in that in that team. Um, yeah, she's she's getting a rework, and the next one is Gamora, as you can see there. This is this is mainly just for the people that are watching this on YouTube. Um, and do you notice anything different there, Diggs, Adam? It wasn't that sword different? Yes, sir. Wicked. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a very. Uh, is that a bit like Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy? It's just a massive broadsword, yeah. isn't it? It's not far off the Buster Blade, is it? Mm. Um, Huge. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so they're. So they're, they're sorry, go on. I was going to say, I've noticed that in, I just did a war attack um, 
a little while ago. And when I did um, Star Lord's Ultimate, mm-hmm. and she assisted, she did that like energy like attack all thing. Really? I mean, when she put a sword in there and went like that, yeah, and it did like a rainbow thing. I was just like, oh, sweet. Oh, okay. really? So that's when, when did that when did that sort of take effect? No idea. It's the first time I've seen it. Okay. See, so, yeah, I mean, by the look of it, they changed up our animations and stuff. Um, we last last week we uh, we showed a gif of 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 what Diggs is talking about. Uh, that's been in the wild for a while, by the look of it. But um, yeah, and then obviously there's the character model there again. Sorry for you guys that are listening, but um, of of Adam Warlock. I mean, what were your first impressions of him there? I think he looks wicked. I think he looks really cool. I mean, his eyebrows are, uh, are a bit extreme, but, um, but he looks pretty cool. And I love the fact that in his like avatar thing, he's just holding like a ball of energy. That's yeah. quality. I quite like how he just like teleports in, as we just saw. Um, again, sorry for everyone watching. Jump on YouTube and subscribe, <laughs> though. Uh, yeah, uh, I like how he just... Yeah, he, look, he looks wicked. Just looking at... Um, oh, wow. Yeah. That that attack uh, is really good. What, what which one of his attacks was that? Do you guys know? Can you can you see from? Oh, all... oh, right, there we go. Yeah, power overwhelming. That's wicked. That sort of energy buff. Oh yeah, look at that. He looks cool. Really cool. A bit of laser eye lasers, giant lasers. Yeah. I love so, a cape as well. Can't, can't be a cape. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So so we only know. Um, Nebula and Gamora for that team then at the moment. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, now, there's, there's been rumours um, while we're talking about rumours and stuff. Now, Diggs, um, yeah, I'm going to struggle to say this name. Uh, Philavel, one of, one of the first names. Where, where are, you, are you reading that? or? Yeah. Where are you looking? Not, not, it's not, they haven't been oh, announced. Oh, sorry, not yet. Been sorry, yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's two characters announced. There's one called Phi Lavelle, which is also known as Quasar. And now the only uh, the only Quasar I know is the uh, is the dodgy Laser Quest ripoff. But, um, I was about to say Laser Quasar. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and Moon Dragon as well. So, yeah. Moon Dragon, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, Phi Lavelle and, or AKA Quasar and Moon Dragon are two names that are being thrown around amongst the, uh, the rumour mill. Right, so Quasar, also known as Wendell Vaughan, mm-hmm. can shape his body into any form he can imagine. Oh, cool! Okay. Shapeshifter. Sick. Cool. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, and then, so um, Moon Moon Dragon. Do you know? Do you know much about them, or do you yeah. just know the name? Um, I don't know a huge amount about Moon Dragon. No, it's, it's a name I know that he was in the first. Um, the first time Adam Warlock um, made the Infinity Watch because there's been like four in- incarnations of it. There was his one, Doctor Strange's, okay, um, somebody else, and then he did the second one. But I think Moon Dragon's a woman. Okay, a bald woman. If I remember rightly. I look her up while we're talking. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. All right. Um, like, I, I literally have no idea. Like, I just those those, those are two names. Oh, that's alarm. Uh, those those are two like <laughs> yeah. um. Sorry. <laughs> Those are two like um, two names that I've I've seen a couple of content creators, uh, Valley, Torna, um, and OMG, all all sort of say that they're being heavily rumoured. Yeah, so. so she's a human, powerful telepath, master martial artist, has some kinetic, telekinetic, and highly skilled geneticist. Um, but her parents were killed, and then her father's soul was bound to Drax. Um, and then she was taken by Mentor, who's um, Thanos's father, back to Titan, and raised there. Oh, okay. There you go. Where is it? And she is a bald chick. Nice. Cool. All right, cool. So no, uh, no mention of Nebula becoming empowered, though, just so that she's getting a rework. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, in, in that strike time, they don't really mention it. I mean, I think at one point, the, um, the gentleman that Cerebro is interviewing says something about Gamora being empowered so you know what, what one of the two sisters is getting empowered but um yeah I don't know fair enough yeah indeed okay so uh back to the blog um let's find out how we can unlock uh, Mr Warlock 
So, Adam, do you want to cover this, uh, the Infinity Watch, just at the end of the... Uh... Yeah, so uh, add the explosive abilities of Adam Warlock to your roster with this upcoming legendary event, the Infinity Watch. Join X-Factor Investigations and Jubilee on their intergalactic search for the missing Adam Warlock. Along with an Apex team, Adam Warlock's arrival also ushers in the first mythic legendary event. In addition to the required characters and star level, um, Mythic legendary events will have additional requirements such as gear and ISO 8. The minimum requirements, tier 5, to recruit Adam Warlock are Jubilee at 5 stars, 4 X Factor characters at 5 stars, character level 65, gear tier 12, and ISO 8 class level 3. Tier 6 of the Infinity Watch Legendary event will have no requirements, so feel free to dive into that mission when your team is ready. The requirements pick back up at tier seven for x factor and jubilee so tier seven you have to have six star all gear tier 13 iso 8 class level four and then for tier eight seven star gear tier 14 and iso 8 class level five so to start prepping now to recruit adam warlock um wow so gentlemen opinions on that please I'm not remotely surprised because he's obviously going to be amazing. He's what well, they're calling him a my mystic, mythic, mythic legendary. Yeah. But like, he's obviously going to be quality. So I knew that he was going to be really unachievable for people who don't whale hard mm. because the only way to get Polaris at five stars is to buy her unless you get really lucky out of orbs. Yeah. Um, you can't farm long shot, is it? Or Shatterstar. Oh, you can't farm Shatterstar either. Well, he, he's um, in the um, he's in the battle pass, isn't he, at the moment? But th this is his second run at it. So, oh no, no, sorry, he's right. he was camp he was campaign event. So, yeah, sorry, carry on. Yeah, so again, cost money, um, and they've only done one event for Marvel Man, as far as I can remember. Is that right? Just that campaign event they did. Yeah, he was a campaign event as well. Yeah, and he's he's not farmable anywhere else either. So unless you got him a five star in that event, um, which again, most people who don't whale or aren't in game can't get. So <laughs> it's a little bit of a double digits to the, uh, but then saying that if he's really, really good, you should be able to be able to get him until the end game. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if he, if he's Kestrel, Dr. Doom level of power or more, cause he's a legendary. Yeah. Then you should, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think getting Jubilee, I mean, Jubilee five star, you, you, you know, you can't, like you have to have a five star team to get her. So I don't, you know, surely the requirement should just be Jubilee. Do you get what I mean? But uh, like, don't you have to have your Pimtech members at five stars to get her at five stars? Safeguards for the future, though, doesn't it? Like they've reduced other so. legendaries down to three stars. Oh, so if yeah, they guess, mark it yeah. now, it yeah, saves it in the future. Then when if somebody gets her at three stars and they get, you yeah, didn't say five stars. <laughs> I guess so. But I mean, <laughs> at least we can cancel that Jubilee one out, really, for now. And just look at the four yeah. X-Factor characters at five stars. Level 65 is not going to be horrendous. Gear tier 12 is a bit cheeky, but the ISO 8 class level 3, that's... that's Yeah. But again, if, he, if he's worth it, then I'll do it. You know, like, if, if you said this was, like, the requirement for Kestrel, after using it, I mean, I'd probably head towards it. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, if it's a good character, then... Uh, but yeah, I'll, yeah, but I'll, I'll farm I mean, for it. I saw eight class three is nothing though. Any any character like I level up, I take to at least three end. Like regardless, that's yeah. that's pretty standard. That's that's easy. Is that so? Level so that's five, not gonna. Yeah, I'm just trying to look no, at my I reckon roster. You could probably take. You could probably take seventy percent of your roster to ISO eight level three right this second now. Yeah, I'm looking you at my top tier G ones, and most of, most of the people I use. Are th yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's chilling. Five, five's a grind. I've been taking everyone that I taken to uh, DD three up to five, and it is it is a proper grind. Yeah, five, it five is tough. It's, it's it's tough because you need the the ISO pieces, um, and then it's fifty thousand ions for the five, isn't it? So you're paying two hundred and fifty thousand straight away um, before you get all the pieces together as well, um, and the pieces aren't exactly easy to get either, you know. Yeah, so that's 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 going to be something cool to aim towards, uh, I guess. But yeah, it's quite quite a lot, isn't it? 
yeah, it's just something I mean, that I just won't worry about for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of X Factor, I've got um, Shatter Star to five, Long Shot, I'm three star, Multiple Man, I'm just three star, like no shards into it. Polaris, I'm I don't even have it yet. So, Crappy Magneto. Crappy Magneto. Yeah, the, only, um, the only good thing about that is I've been um, considering levelling up um, a little, well, at least long shot and shatter start for a while now because I'm sick of them beating me to death in real time arena. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I was considering levelling them up anyway. Yeah, they are they are fantastic, especially yeah, like yeah, especially in that in that team. Yeah, because I was thinking about um, the mutant nodes of um, DD4. Yeah. And the best the best people to take in there, obviously Phoenix has got to be in there, but then I might do the other four, and, unless I get Jubilee, and then I'll probably do Jubilee, Bishop, Longshot, Shatterstar, and um, Phoenix. But if I don't have them, then I'll probably just go full X Factor with Phoenix. Phoenix Factor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just intrigued. I mean, like you say, I mean, this this kind of feels like. Um, I mean, we we weren't. Um, well, we we were just babies in the game when when they did the whole Black Order, um, sorry, uh, Black Bolt uh, for Ebony Moore and all of that. So it's kind of you know, it's fine. I you know I, I can I can understand that people are a little bit upset, but the 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 main the main problem people have at the moment is that Jubilee's event hasn't come round again. She's only she's only been round once, so since her announcement, okay, um, yeah. one time. So people are like, they haven't wanna... yeah, they haven't announced when they're releasing Adam Warlock yet, though, have they? When that event's coming, or did they? Um, it's it's this next patch. So in theory, um, yeah, soon. These guys really don't mess around, do they? They're like, this is the next legendary boom. This is a new event, boom. Like they're just smashing stuff out. I mean, I'm sure they do have a plan, but it's like, and it's really good that it happens quickly because it makes you like, well, I need to smash the game. It's not like I'll get to it. But I mean, fair play, they are smashing it out, aren't they, really, with stuff? Yeah. 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 I mean, there's, fresh that's it. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a, a lot of people have been frustrated with, there's a thing called power creep. I'm sure we talked about that before and how, like, you know, like your, your, you know, your seven red star ravager, ravager stitcher just doesn't cut it anymore. Like, well, to be fair, I don't think it ever, cu- I don't think it ever cut it, but like, you know, um, like power creep, like new, new characters come to the game and make the older ones more, uh, well, less, de- less decent, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it's like, I just had a conversation with, uh, with Diggs earlier and I was talking about Kestrel and I was like, even before she's like a high enough level, she's amazing and i was like surely they're gonna have to nerf her because she's just like op and and like Diggs made the point they'll just make everyone else around her better and uh level it out so i guess yeah that's that's what it comes into isn't it but yeah some people are just yeah yeah at one time I'm, i imagine the as guardians was probably classed as the best team in the game hmm. but then like you got the black order and then you got like the symbiotes and then you got this and like do you know what i mean it's like you got the um X-Men and X-Factor and stuff like that. So as they add more and more teams, other teams become less and less powerful in comparison. Like you say, then like yeah. probably sometime in the future, like they'll probably add Odin as a Mystic Rare. And then all of a sudden that Asgardian team with Odin will be yeah. near the top no. of it. And then they'll probably add Charles Xavier as a Mystic Rare or Mythic Rare, whatever they're calling it. And then that original X-Men team will be nearer the top and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think you- every, every character... Of it, have their day in the sun do you think because of the rate they're bringing these new people out because of the rate they're adding new people do you think the old ones aren't getting updated quick enough so there's a lot of kind of crappy old ones because of that because there's not being these big team updates there is being updates isn't there but it's not really happening that often do you think the old kind of characters are getting a bit left behind i sorry go on Dix. No, no, I literally said go on Luke. That was, that was all I was saying. Oh, sorry. Um, so my opinion on that is, I was like, man, they just, they, you know, they're just churning out characters. You know, this is the new shiny thing. Pay, don't, don't pay attention to this. You know, Black Bulls passive still doesn't work. But, you know, like, you know what I mean? But like, they are slowly bringing characters back to life. You look at Shadowlands, you look at um, 
Heroes for Hire, like like Heroes for Hire by sound of it is, I mean, all the content creators, they all play like Endgame War. They're all like, they are bricking it about this team because they know that everyone that's been playing this game for longer than a year can make this team if they if they do that release right. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think like Big says, like eventually they'll they'll just bring everyone up around. But you're gonna have these like if you imagine like if you're you're looking at like London and you look at the skyline, you've got like the shard, it's like the top thing, isn't it? Um, and everything else is sort of below it. But you, you know what evolution is like someone will be like, well I want to build something bigger than the shard. So sooner or later everything will sort of rise and catch it. You know what I mean? I think that's sort of how they how they do it. I don't know. It's just just my opinion. What do you what do you think, Dix? Yeah, yeah, I, exactly that. I agree. I think they'll just move um, rather than pulling characters down because they're too powerful. They'll move characters up to match yeah. the power, and then add more and more difficult things to do in the game. Like they added DD, like DD Four, still relatively new. You know what I mean? Like we talk about it like it's been there forever, but it's only got released six months ago. If that, yeah, something like that, yeah. And, and a year before that it would have been be unfathomable to do something more difficult than DD3. But as, as the characters get better and they add new ones that are powerful and then they raise the old ones up, um, things that did seem impossible become far more achievable because of the level of difficulty, but then they add more difficult things. Um, so, yeah, I think, like you say, I think all the characters, they'll probably rework. By the, I reckon this Infinity Watch and what's going on with Gamora and um, whatever her name is, Nebula, um, they might do a rework on Guardians. They might move move them around. Who knows? Yeah, it's exciting, man, isn't it? Like they they've yeah. I mean, I, I know I know quite a well the, the sort of upper level of the community seem quite frustrated with 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 the game, but you know their heads are firmly in it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't know. Right, should we uh, should we should we crack on with the rest of the blog? What yeah. do you, what, so before we do, what do you guys think about? Um, what do you guys think about? You know, I mean, seven star um, ISO class five. So you're gonna have to get all of your X factors to five stars and Jubilee. So sorry, to five um, ISO level five. What do you, what do you think? Um, about, what do you think about the state of ISO in the game at the moment, Adam? Yeah, I think the ISO it's all right. Sorry, just put your you there. Not bothered. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think it's it's still. Would we say it's a fairly new thing to the game still, or would you guys not? Like, it's still fairly new, isn't it? And I guess whereas it's not been a requirement to us, maybe it's just a new thing. It's just like the new requirement. Uh, that, that's how it's going to be. So, yeah, okay. you know, if, if they update everyone like that and as new players start, that's just the requirement for them, then it's not going to be any different. So maybe it's just kind of adding that to the game, you know, because it's got its own energy. It's got its own you know, version of like campaign energy, isn't it? So it's just part of the game that you just, every day as you play, you, you gain it, don't you? So I think they're just trying to merge it in more, aren't they? Hmm. How about you, Dix? Yeah, I, that doesn't bother me that you got to get it to, I think it's a lot easier to get characters to um, ISO 8, uh, yeah, ISO 8 tier 5 than it is getting them to 7 stars anyway. So yeah, if you're going to be farming them every day, focusing on them to get them to seven stars there's no reason why you can't focus on them to get them to tier five be a lot quicker yeah my my only um my only sort of point of concern with it is that um um when, when we go further into the blog um that this this is sort of a i mean it's funny we talked about it last week didn't we about iso potentially being needed for legendary and here it is it popped up um i mean i, I had no idea like I, I kind of feel like i've willed it into existence like i'm you know <laughs> Me, me and my big mouth but um big like mouth. yeah it's um it's interesting mate um but yeah we'll, we'll cover that uh later on in the blog uh because like i said it's quite a big one and uh there's some more um exciting stuff in there Boom. cool okay so next in the vlog we've got doom raids can we grab that yeah, grab it, mate, yeah. So, arriving soon after the upcoming 5.4 release will be several key updates to the Doom Raids. The First Strike iteration of the Raids gave everyone a taste of the Great Alliance Challenge. 
Uh, today we'll be going over what Doom Raids will look like going forward. So the first big update is that Doom Raids will be more, what? More thematically linked. Thematically linked, is that supposed to say? So yes, like thematically theme? linked. Thematically linked uh, to isolate uh, as required to participate as an additional rewards. Characters used in the first five nodes of Doom 1 uh, will now need to be equipped with at least ISO 8 green class level 4, and the remaining nodes require class 5. These ISO 8 levels will serve you well in battle, so be sure to experiment with various ISO 8 combinations. Um, <laughs> you chuckling because you don't like that? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if you're taking characters into the Doom Raids, they're going to be high level, and chances are they're already going to be tier 4 or 5. Yeah. All of my highest level characters are all tier 5. I don't know about you. Mm. Do you hoard it all so you've got like 7 billion ISO 8 tier crystals, whatever they're called? Uh, I, I tell you what, mate, I've, I've got a couple of characters at tier 5, but um, I, I, I run out. I mean, they're all controllers, you know what I mean? So I barely got oh. any. Uh, they, they, they barely like, um, you know, I, I haven't got the, uh, the pieces to get more characters up to five so it's just a matter of farming those that, pieces i guess how is that possible i've got 12 characters at tier five oh, I, I, I honestly don't know how many i've got at tier five i'll have a look must be more than a couple anyway um iso 8 resources have been added to the doom one rewards including the upcoming iso 8 blue Woo um reaching a completion level of at least 30 percent will now earn t2 iso 8 credits which can be used to open the iso 8 blue class orb of your choice similar to gear credits Ask Wicked. Um, we'll have more information about Ice Blue in the upcoming blog, so be on the lookout. And next, we'll be reducing the overall difficulty of Doom 1. This raid will still be the ultimate challenge for your alliance, but the enemies will now provide a more focused challenge. Enemy power levels on the node will be updated to reflect the change, so you can expect the details before entering each node. And speaking of difficulty, the Doom 1 updates also include the addition of a raid difficulty selector, which will have a reduced unlock requirement on completing Ultima 7 at 60% instead of the usual 100. Now that, Boom. that is massive. Yeah. For, well, good. massive massive for small alliances like us, because that means we don't have to 100% use 7. It means we could probably get rid of the uh, the lane allocation, and I could probably stop tearing on my hair out every evening when people don't know <laughs> what lane they're in. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that's great. That's great news. As soon as this patch goes in, that means we can go into U7.1, potentially U7.2, maybe maybe even 3, which means potentially we could get more silver surfer shards, which everyone is happy with. So yeah, how do you feel about that, Adam? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. All right, how about you, Dix? Yeah, good, mate. Love it. Love a bit of that. Sweet, man. So it's more, more for... Less, I guess, isn't it? So why not? Well, it well, like I mean, the the, the problem like we we have as as an alliance is that we we're never going to get one hundred percent. We don't have, you know, we've gone from a casual alliance to a half sort of a half mega keen, half casual alliance. You know what I mean? So we're not going to be able to, uh, you know, recruit a load of players and stuff and and all of that that are super uh, super committed. So it just it just gives those it just gives those players that are keen. A chance to do higher raid level difficulty and stuff. I think it's great, but I don't know. We'll see. Sure. Cool. Sure, yeah. Sure. Sorry, what? go on. No, you you moving on? Yeah, man. Let's cool. do it. Uh, okay, so MSF API. Uh, whether you're an alliance leader or just a dedicated commander looking for an edge, more information is now available at your fingertips in the form of the MSF API which is application programming interface, obviously. Uh, the API, which is currently in beta, I didn't know that. I don't know if you boys knew that, I didn't know that. Uh, will grant you access to certain game data and allow you to better understand the game and strategize effectively. We also plan to further build on the feature with additional functionality in the future. Anyone interested can head to the following link for more information on how to apply for access. And that uh, MSF API application will be in the blog post link that we'll put in the in the show notes and comments. Cool. Um, MSF um, API application. That's um, yeah. That's oh, and, well, API is good. Like um, for the sort of future of the game and stuff. Um, yeah, good stuff, mate. All right. So yeah. So that's yeah. MSF API application is a good thing. Um, get involved. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, yeah. Right, so character availability. 
Um, catch a speedster and a symbiote with these upcoming additions to the store. Sprint to the raid store on May 25th so you can get your hands on character shards for the Inhuman Protector Yo-Yo. And then on the same day, you can bond with Anti-Venom shards as he will be replacing Yo-Yo by having additional availability in the Premium Orb. You'll have a chance to wrap your tendrils around an even bigger pile of shards for Anti-Venom in an upcoming Blitz. So be on the lookout for that announcement. How are you guys feeling about um, about that? Yo-Yo coming that. to the raid store. Yeah. yeah. Yo-Yo needs to be somewhere farmable because I hate having to swap her out for um, Miss Marvel in the Inhumans events. Um, but yeah, um, at least they're making they're putting anti-venom somewhere. He's not he's still not the most farmable place in the world, but at least, what's that, Fountain of Isn't that what they call it? Um, yeah. At least he's somewhere. I'll take it. How, how, how about you, Adam? How are you, uh, how are you feeling about Anti Venom going to the premium mob? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'd like more Anti Venom shards, so uh, that'd be good. I think that might that might calm someone down on Twitter. Maybe uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't looked. <laughs> I haven't looked. I, 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 they're not properly farmable, are they? It'll still carry oh, on. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what. I haven't looked. I'll have to. I'll have to have a look in a minute. Um, oh man, I'm gonna be trolling him. I'll be like, oh, he's got the yo yo drop rate. Like, I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm on him. I'm on it. I can't wait. Do you reckon he's just gonna like just delete his Twitter account now? He's just like, my, my work here is done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I win. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fades off. I, I have, hopefully, he says thank you. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, yo yo in the raid store is awesome, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'm all about that. And, um, an anti venom blitz is good. Um, the, the the only concern I've got is is that I, I still feel like symbiotes might one day become um, needed for uh, for a legendary, or like it'll be some for the next like what is it mythic legendary or whatever it is they're calling it now. Yeah, hopefully they had null. That'd be sweet. Yeah, that would be sweet. But like I, I feel like they're going to do something like Kestrel or Silver Surfer and four symbiotes or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that could be a thing. Yeah, mm. it would surprise me. Dirty. Doing us <laughs> dirty. All right, uh, returning legendary event. Adam, do you want to hit this? Yeah, uh, it's time once again for your opportunity to arm yourself with character shards for the Sinister Six's legendary support. Heading your way on May 31st is uh, Surgical Strike featuring Dr. Octopus. Oh, great. Um, where you can send your <laughs> X-Force to... Uh, I mean, we were just talking about this and I need him. Uh, on a mission to bring back legendary character shards. You'll need, to, you'll need your X-Force team at a minimum of five stars for a chance to recruit Doc Ock. So be on the lookout for the full force bonus event to help bolster your X-Force team. Cool. That's, that's really good. So by, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing by your, uh, by your happiness is that you, you're going to be able to unlock um, Dr. Octopus? I should be. I'll, I'll work for it then, um, just from what you guys were saying for DD3, obviously. Uh, and then I don't have to... I'll, I'll get to do the city nodes earlier um, if I have him because it won't be like you know instead of having to get four symbiotes I can w worry about getting three symbiotes and, and then Doc Ock and Ghost Rider so yeah I'll do that cool okay Diggs how about you you getting involved uh, this time for Doc Ock I've already got him I've got him oh, at five star and I don't I, no, I don't have enough um, six star I like, they're not all six star I think one or two of them are but I'm not going to um, I'm not going to try and push to get him for six. I'll just leave him at five. Um, and like I say, I may use him in DD3 when I get to those city nodes. I'll see how how the symbiote farming goes. Um, yeah. Yeah, I may well look because he, he is good, um, Doc Ock. So I may well level him up regardless. But we shall see. Yeah. What is it that is it? It's like a regen or like a heal or something he does. It drives me nuts. It's always at the worst possible time. What does he do? Yeah. It, he else. puts like four regen on the whole team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he also applies slow when he attacks. He summons members of the Sinister Six. Like he's, he's just a nuisance, just an utter nuisance. Mm. Yeah, he's great, and obviously that that additional character in DD three is helpful. Um, you get, I mean, it's normally Shocker, and you get the uh, you get the you get the old um, uh, you get the offense up from from Shocker, and then every now and then he'll get his ult off. And it, it's like it's like having Greg, you know what I mean? Like they'll 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 always go for Shocker. You're like, thank you very much. Like, but yeah, um, and it's um, superior titanium alloy, Adam, for um, his unique piece, Doctor Octopus. Okay, what's the little picture on that one? Superior Look, titanium alloy. Piece of metal. Yeah, it looks like three pieces of like. Yeah. 
Got you. Yeah. I know the one you mean, yeah. Cool. Groove. Okay, so I've come in blitzes. We uh, we love a bit of blitz in here. So um, add a new hero to your classic... Hang on a minute. Add a new hero and a classic Cree to your roster with these upcoming blitzes. The Pursuer Blitz starts on May 24th, where you can hunt down Korath, the Pursuer Shards. And then May 27th, hire a cyborg for your Heroes for Hire team during this Misty Night's Bionic Detective Blitz. Um, don't miss your chance to arm yourself with Misty Shards and bolster your Heroes for Hire War Defense team. So, how are you guys uh, feeling about that? Arm yourself. I love a pun. I do, don't I? Uh, um, Korath can get in the sea. Um, Misty Night's also happy days. <laughs> cool. Korath. Korath. Korath, few, few people uh, are going. So go on, go on, Adam. Uh, no, no, a few people are what? A few people are going swimming this uh, this week, aren't they? Yes, I don't know why that phrase is in my head. <laughs> 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 I said Good that old. to somebody the other day. I can't remember what they were doing. They asked me a stupid question. I was turned around and I was like, just just get in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> get your water wings on and get in the sea. Korath is uh, just like the he, he's like uh, I was saying when I was chatting to Diggs earlier, he just looks like Ronan in his summer gear, doesn't he? So I guess he's perfect to get in the sea. <laughs> just like Ronan in lighter armor, isn't he? You can't carry that big hammer around if you're in the sea, mate. That'll drag exactly, you right down. Yeah, pick up your little gun. Yeah, you little, little shoot you with little water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. uh, yeah, that, that's uh, whatever. Yeah, just bl- I'm I'm a, I'm a bit over blitzing to be honest. Like I'm a bit done with it. I'm doing it. But um, I'm blitzing a little more this weekend for Colleen Wing. But apart from that, I'm kind of like, I don't know. It's almost like they added that um, auto blitz or blitz sim. Uh, and yeah. I blitz less now. Madness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's less of a chore. <laughs> and I do it even less now. <laughs> I'll tell, tell you what I do want them to add. And again, this is just supreme laziness. You know, you've got auto and it just does the most powerful attack you could do. Just give me what I basic. Follow on. Yeah, what for real time arena? Just for anything. No, I mean real time arena. I'm happy doing the the best attacks. It's usually for, for things like raid. So like, you know, yeah. there's just certain raid things that you just know it's like this is easy now. But I don't want to auto it and end up doing like black bolts, massive AOE on an enemy with like four percent health and he's the last one left. Yeah. So just let me auto basic. That's all I want. Auto basic would be awesome. It would be good. Yeah. Or just awesome. auto logic, and if if an enemy <laughs> is under, if an enemy can be killed with the basic, do the basic. If they can't, so, then do the yeah. next big one or whatever. Just just like auto logic and auto basic, yeah. please. You're getting a little bit too close to like idle games that no one, the games you don't play, you just yeah. don't watch. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, what's going on with this uh, sim raid? Do you remember? Is it sim raid or auto raid? Do you remember they added that? And it just bugged out. They like. They didn't mean to add it yet, did they? Um, no, apparently that's happened before, though, Luke was saying. So maybe it's something yeah. they're, they're still trialling and um, and trying to perfect. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't. For some reason, I don't want that. Even though raiding is a chore to me sometimes, I don't want it to be autoed. And then I think there's too much of the game that's, that you don't actually do. Yeah, yeah. Ra- you know what raiding, I mean? Raiding, yeah, like you said, it's, it, it is a chore, but it's, it's worth it. And I accept it. <laughs> but Blitz, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I mean, like, you know, like you, it's, it's a hero collector, and you're not even using your heroes if you uh, if you have raid sim as well. It's just like, well, when are you going to use them? <laughs> Arena, and you're only yeah. using five of your 160 or whatever it is. I mean, it's just it just seems a bit silly, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I don't. Know. It's just weird that they've added it and removed it, and then and a couple of times, like, like they're obviously trying to make it work, aren't they? I think they did it deliberately to get the, uh, the feedback from the community. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they, they they basically did the same thing with um with Blitz Sim as well. Like there was a Blitz, they they sort of dropped it in by by mistake um before they made it live. So yeah, who knows? All right. So yeah, so we old uh old Korath and uh, and Misty. So another big weekend Blitz for us. Um, it's frustrating when I when I first read this blog, I thought for some reason. It didn't say Korath. I thought it said, um, oh God, what's his name? Uh, I read it as Karnak. And I was like, oh, wicked. Karnak shards, awesome. Like, I'm all about that. And uh, yeah, no, Korath. Uh, so. Which one's Karnak? Uh, Karnak's the inhuman. inhuman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. 
Okay, uh, bonus and flash event, Stiggs. Do you want to hit these? Yeah, mate. So, landing just before Star Lord and his Space Ace legendary event is going nowhere on May 21st. Um, bolster your Guardians and Ravagers for this Star Lord recruitment drive with two times campaign node rewards. Filter your roster by Guardian and Ravager to find all the eligible characters and their corresponding nodes. Luke, what's two times zero? Zero, my friend. Zero. Then on May 28th, Chaos Theory returns to help replenish your precious promotion metals. Send your Wakandan team into battle during this flash event to earn tons of silver and gold promotion credits. Prepare your Wakandans. Well, prepare one of your Wakandans in my case. <laughs> yeah, prepare prepare <laughs> Killmonger. Yeah. <laughs> um, with this Wakanda Forever bonus event, which rewards double Wakandan shards in the campaign node rewards. Filter your roster by Wakandan to see all the eligible characters and their nodes. Until next time, good luck, Commanders. And then additional information this 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 was added after the initial blog post because oh. people were going mad at cerebro by the sound of it last night um i haven't caught up with all the usual stuff i normally would but um yeah by the sound of it people weren't pleased i was there having to go at cerebro dude that, that guy that guy gets pelters i feel oh, bad for him but you know yeah. yeah yeah um but yeah so um do you want to hit this additional information that's yeah, so the next Jubilee Legendary event will be taking place before the Adam Warlock event. Uh, Safeguard is the new positive effect that locks all the positive effects on a character so that they can't be cleared or flipped. Safeguard itself cannot, uh, can't be copied or stolen by enemies. A character with Safeguard will hang on to their positive effects until they are used up normally, no matter how powerful their opponent is. For example... A character that has two turns of defense up and two turns of safeguard will keep those defense up until they expire normally on his turns, even when being hit by a character that could normally clear or flip them. That is so much clearer. Yeah, good. <laughs> I get that. So I feel like, well, everyone else will too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Cool. That's, that's nice. Nice to have that cleared up. Um, because before it was just put there, like, yeah. Yeah. Just like safeguard, like we, like we knew what it was. Yeah. And yeah, the uh, I suspected, and now they've confirmed it, that Jubilee, the next Jubilee event will be before the Adam Warlock event. And Orange. Yeah, which is, um, which is good news, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I suspected that's, like, that was, I doubt that wasn't the plan before, because there'd be no need to do that. Like, if they want, people to spend more money on this game they won't spend it if there's not an upcoming jubilee event yeah you know what i mean if, if people end up yeah. creeping cores and buying more to refresh energy to farm nodes to get jubilee if that's the last piece of the puzzle they need yeah if they don't if that event's not available they're going to do it yeah they can't spend the cash if they don't have the opportunity to yeah exactly yeah um just uh just just before we um go into the last few bits and pieces if you just go back up to the strike time event i forgot to um i forgot to go into this so if you go in like right at the start of strike time, um, so like I say, guys, we'll include the link for strike time in the uh, in the blog post. But yeah, uh, sorry, in the blog post in the uh, in the <laughs> description. Um, so yeah, if you just uh, just just start it from here, mate. Cool. And with Cerebro volume one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cerebro basically talks about the up updates. Um, there's gonna be some updates to the store and stuff in regards to Gear Tier 13. Oh, sick! Old, old so, strong beard, strong beard Cerebro. From beer cerebro, yeah. There we go. Let's go. Hello, beer yeah. Oh, that's deafening. Okay, cool. I can't hear it. Do you know? What? No. Um, good. There we go. Boom. There we go. Um, so, yeah. Also, while well, you've got that image up there, Moon Dragon, just on that comic, she's the one on the right hand side nearest his arm. The bald chick with the um, substantial clavage. 
<laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Luke, I was just going to say, actually, Luke, is, is, this, is this your uh, Marvel Strike Force game that we're looking at when you're low on, on orbs? I was going to say, no, mate, that's... <laughs> that's, that's um, 92 that's in one tab, 62, 88 in the red star. Is that, is that you nearly? Or not enough gold there? There's only five minutes. No, that's, that's Luke in his rookie season. Let I me see that. I can't see it. I can't, no, see it. I can't see what it says either, unfortunately. All right, so, uh, <laughs> not, not, so mine goes from left to right, 96, 85, 485, uh, nothing, Four, nothing, eight, six. What's that yeah. in? That's, that's in, um, that's in right. like, beat raid orbs and stuff. Sorry, yeah, so purple, orange, and blue gear raid wow. orbs. Wow. Oh, mate, you, are you ever just tempted to go into settings, just turn the multiple orb open on, just do it once? Just do it in one? No. You no. should. Do you want <laughs> Just get it open and done with. Just, just rip the scab off. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, 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 so, do you know, sorry, go on, this. I was say, do you want to know my left or right? Go for it. One. <laughs> One. Was it? I'm going to open that orb now. Uh. <laughs> mine, mine isn't. Mine, mine is six because there I'm playing those red stars. Nice, nice and clear. Yeah, nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Horrendous. No notifications for Dingy. <laughs> so um, I, I don't know if those of you that are listening heard what Cerebro was saying, but basically, um, Greek raid. Um, so there's going to be orbs with, um, I can't remember what the orbs are called now. Um, so there's going to be orange elite orbs going into the Greek raid um, orbs as well. So when you complete Greek raids, you'll also get orange elite orbs, which is good. I mean, that that is amazing for, you know, players because the real crunch in this game the real bottleneck or whatever you want to call it is is those gear 13 pieces that's what everyone struggles with yeah, so gosh. yeah so that's great man that's um that's good that's good news and then obviously they're gonna there's gonna be an additional slot in the uh in the supply store um of an, a full item for gear 13 for purchase so that's that's amazing as well yeah that, that was the best news there was a, a dedicated slot for unique so you can buy yeah. those bits you need. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I just, I just, yeah, like I said, I just remembered that um, from from when I watched the video earlier, and I, I thought it'd be best if we covered it now than next week because I'll forget about it. So, okay, um, so other stuff that happened in the week just before we finish. Um, so new ability orbs have been added to the game. They got rid of the um, OMG calls it the watermelon orb, um, and, and um, basically. Uh, there's now three new orbs in the um in the orb store uh sorry in the supply store and they are the the t3 ability orb the t2 ability orb and the t1 ability orb uh so one is 50 um 50 cores the t2 ability orb is 175 and the t3 ability orb is 450 so they're all um they're all pretty decent changes um i mean no one's going to be buying the ones and twos i imagine if you've been playing for a long time well, but, do you know what's, what's funny is um, uh, Nifty One in our raid um, was moaning to me a few few weeks ago that he can't get any T ones. Yeah, and he's low on T twos. I was like, just farm them. Yeah. So, oh God! I was like, of course you can. Uh, but he kept moaning that he didn't have any. So when, now they've seen that, and now they've released that one, they're going to say to him next week, stop me crying. You just buy those orbs in the in the uh, in the store now. Yeah, I mean the. The, the thing is, like the advantage we've had is, is we've we've been in that alliance from from day one, pretty much. Once once we found it and all jumped in, and that alliance has grown steadily. So you you, me and Adam, we've all got a, an abundance of tier twos and abundance of tier ones. Whereas the players that we've recruited that are newer to the game, we've obviously got them into the game, sorry, into the alliance and and caught them up. You know what I mean? So they've probably got an abundance of you know, tier threes, probably not tier fours, but you know what I mean? So that's, that's why, like basically, yeah. So yeah, I don't want to say tell him to stop moaning because you're in a better position, but yeah. Um, Got it. Yeah. Um, this yeah. makes me laugh. Like I've got like 4,000 T2s. I'm just trying to, uh, T1s rather, I'm trying to find some T2s. Um, 26,000 T2s. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, there, there are like, good nodes for that and stuff aren't there from memory like yeah there's, there's certain things you could do it's just um like i say it's because norm like in normal circumstances you do 
everything you do is around your level but because we like like you say pulling him up from yeah. his level to to ours to get those um to get those better rewards like you say he when he gets to the stage where he's using t3s and fours he'll be far better off but he's still <laughs> using a lot of t1s and twos at the moment he hasn't got them it's funny yeah yeah what were you gonna say Adam? uh I, no I was, I was just gonna i was just gonna try and try and find mine so I, i'm not sure how many i've got of of the uh tier ones and twos but uh yeah. I mean, it's it's it, oh wow, it's so, yeah. so many. <laughs> it's you know, it's very rare that you have to use them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, no. Worries. I was, I, I was, I was, I was a little bit worried about it, like the especially with tier ones, because I was like, oh man, like I, I don't feel like I've got enough. You know what I mean? But like, it's always, it's always like fifteen or thirty of them, isn't it? Like, it's not like the the other ones where it's considerably higher. It's, you know. It's like yeah. baby steps with tier one, isn't it? Yeah, we'll never run out of them, mate. Don't worry about that. Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah, um, ability, new ability orbs in the uh, in the store. So if you need them, if you're struggling, they are available there for mm-hmm. course. Uh, so big news as well. Silver Surfer digs has been added to the Elite Store, so you can buy Red Stars on Silver Surfer if you want to. Only if you've got one, though. Well, you haven't got any silver promotion credits? No, no, I haven't got any silver red silver surface shards because they have to be at one red to, to be available in the store, don't they? Do they? I think so. Right. I don't oh, think dude, I didn't know I, that. I'm, I'm saying it. I don't know if that's a fact. No, you're right because he's in the store. Woohoo! Hey, okay. Go <laughs> I on. thought it had to be. I thought there had to be one star for them to be available in the store to buy a two star. I was right. Oh, what result? Woohoo! <laughs> 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 You'll probably see him every day now. I'll be like, ah. Oh. Sick, sick of the sight of you. Hey, I'm, I've been saving red star promotion credits for when I get them, so I can just buy as many as, as I can. Yeah, Lovely. nice quality, mate. Yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, how are you? How are you for uh, red stars and stuff, Adam? Uh, I have no idea. I'll have a look now, though. I haven't put enough into Surfer to be honest. I need to do more on him. Uh, like I was saying the other week, I, I hadn't really found an excuse to yet, but I need. I need. Oh, I've got three red stars on him. Okay, cool. cool. And he and your surf, your surf is two stars, three stars, three. Yeah, he's yeah, three, okay, yeah, three, yeah. Three, three. But uh, he's less than ten k. I need to level him up and put some into him. Um, okay, cool. But I mean, he's cosmic, so I've got I got six nearly. I've already got five cosmic, haven't I? So uh, just I just need a reason to use him. Do you know what I mean? I know he's amazing, but uh, I'm just trying to just trying to see where I can. Um, fit him in why, why how, i can build him up do you know what i mean how how quick is he in relation to loki just just uh, actually no he's your biggest character isn't he yeah yeah my loki's yeah we were talking about his top six or his six cosmic and i was mm. saying you're gonna take out for kestrel um and say you said loki you know it's like the problem is your loki's such a high level Mm-hmm. I'll do that, and I think I said because he's your Ebony Moore, sixty three k. Is that right, Ed? Somewhere around uh, there, sixty eight. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, you're probably best off taking out Ebony Moore, even though he's really good. But then you'll have Loki and Hella both applying. Well, Loki applying defense down, and Hella spreading defense down. So then Kestrel's going to be attacking every turn. Yeah, yeah. and then I got Black Bolt uh, to clear up and Minerva to kind of keep everyone alive. Yeah. So do it, that. You know I mean, he do doesn't you... really fit yet, so. I was yeah, going to okay, suggest yeah. take out Minerva, but I know you wouldn't do it. No, no way. That um, that, that that percentage damage is for, as well, mate. Like I I I fell in love with her again when I went into Comsmic. I was just like, oh, I forgot how good you are. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, oh, does she, like, does she do percentage based damage. I don't use her, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her her ultimate does percentage. So, fifteen uh, percent health from all enemies and redistributes to, to all allies. So that's um, yeah, that's what. what like, that's what what um it's like phoenix isn't it uh, yeah it does like phoenix and also um more Ebony. more yeah. is three percent health yeah but that's three uh, percent over time isn't it from memory yeah, yeah. Re- re- repeats the attack five times or something doesn't it so, uh repeat this is that oh, so, he, so he repeats it an additional four times so yeah, he'll, yeah so he does it five times yeah same yeah. thing um yeah. so yeah i mean he is mystic though silver sorry back to silver surfer he is mystic so silver surfer silver surfer uh is mystic so i could start shortly uh because right. i know he's really good but yeah i've, cool, I've got him ready he's waiting do you know what i mean <laughs> awesome 
I'm really, I, I, mate, I'm stoked that Diggs has got a red star on him. That's, that's Me awesome. Too. Me too. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, before we uh, before we finish up, Real Time Arena, Diggs, how are you getting on? Uh, not that well, really. I haven't, I don't I don't think I did the weeklies last week. And um, I, I mean, I might do them this week, but I think I missed them last week. Um, so I'm only on level 41. Okay. Slacking, mate, slacking. I mean, we're halfway slacking. through, so I'm only a little bit behind. I could probably, if I really tried, I could probably catch up, but oof, start working it. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. Uh, I just, yeah, I just think it might be worth it for those Shatterstar shards, considering he's. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's yeah. Um, how, how are you getting on, Adam? Oh, uh, actually, yeah. I, I, and uh, how are you finding Real Time Arena? They've made some changes to it. Obviously, you, we didn't. You weren't here last week, so we didn't talk about it. But how are you? Um, how are you finding it? Yeah, I mean, just just pick my pick my team, jump in, and auto. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, no. that's how I find it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, sometimes if I've got a really low team, I, I do feel like the uh, kind of matchmaking still not great. But I'm not sure. It sounds like they're trying to work on it, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, in terms of like the uh, the objectives, I I feel like they're getting better. It's less yeah less like oh great this character that I've picked up and never used i'm gonna to have to use it. it's, it's less like that isn't it it's, it's better with that better that way than um you i feel like i've got more selection of characters i can use now which is good so yeah i mean it's it's they've they've completely done away with like use jubilee or whatever it's it's literally now just use cosmic use global uh, sorry you know use whatever mm -hmm. like it's, it's more broad as opposed to you know singular or whatever yeah yeah i, I quite like that uh because i feel like I can actually get the things I need to done, um, and yeah, yeah, use, using a better team, and I think that's probably better for matchmaking anyway, because otherwise you can just pump a team for like, you know, you can have like I could put Loki in, who's like a hundred k, and then have like four dreadful characters, and then someone who's got a bit more of an average team just probably, probably do me or whatever whatever way that works. I feel like. Yeah you know it, that won't happen because you can use the better mystic or the better heroes that you have or whatever do you know what i mean yeah yeah one one, one thing i found with it recently i've i've been putting kestrel with like lower lower tier characters just so they're not all like 400k or whatever it is like they're all like 200k with with kestrel <laughs> and so right. I get matched up with people that are around 200k and just smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! You little troll, I'm doing yeah. that immediately. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, <laughs> yeah. Like my so my oh. my 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 because my, obviously the, the objectives have reset this week, so it's tech. <laughs> so I'm running I'm running with like Ant Man, Wasp, um, Shuri, who are all like 20k. Uh, yeah, so yeah, at the moment, yeah, Shuri, Ant Man, Wasp um and falcon with kestrel <laughs> so yeah people don't realize until it's too late mate it's quite it's quite fun that's wicked yeah but uh but yeah i'm oh, gl glad you're enjoying it mate like, i definitely feel like it's got quicker you know like you get the objectives done quicker like i can i can get it all sorted before i leave the house for work so in the morning so that's nice yeah yeah i think it's it's less like oh you know it's, it's less aggro to even make a team now you yeah. can just kind of set it on the filters. Oh, they're good. They're good. They're good. Like again, my knowledge with who goes well with who is very basic on this. Uh, mm. And I'm yeah, it's it, quicker. That's a perfect way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Right. So um, we've hit that um, blog post we have done, and Dr. Mention we have covered as well. Right. Okay. All right, guys. Um, please remember to rate and review this podcast however you consume it, and do not forget to follow and subscribe and um, if you want to ask us a question for next week don't forget to drop it down in the youtube comments below and um, if you're listening to it on a podcast service i'll include the link to this episode in the description box for your podcast service um thank you very much for checking us out guys we really appreciate your support as i say thanks for watching guys and good luck commanders so far i've got the nick frost one uh... <laughs> Oh, Nick. oh uh, I've got the, I've got the, I've got the, 